Hello, hello, it's time for round eight of the um, F1 1983 championship. And it's at um, Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. I think maybe before Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve was called that. Maybe it was called El Notre Dame, but it's the Canadian Grand Prix, Montreal. And uh, yes, looking forward to this one. We've got uh, uh, seven rounds in the bag so far. And uh, here we are, um, seven rounds gone. Nelson Piquet leads the championship um, by seven points to uh, Alain Prost and 28 points. Rene Arnoux, 27 points. Ricardo Patrese, 14. Tombe, 11. Warwick, 10. And myself and Nelly Cheever on nine. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to an exciting race. And... Uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Don't know how we got pole, but we managed to do it. Seventy laps. The track temp is thirty-three. The air temp is twenty Celsius. You're in pole. All right. Setup has been loaded. We've got all the fuel in the world. Right, let's do this. Okay, let's go and race the Canadian Grand Prix, F1 1983. All right, Ben, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, let's go, let's go. Good start. Don't know what the weather's going to do. We're normally pretty good on the starts. So if we can get a lead. Mistakes. Good work on the start, mate. This is great. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, we got a couple of seconds gap. We need all the time we need for little mistakes here and there. Never been leading by it with a normal start before, where there's not weather-induced issues. Expecting the AI to come back at me, but early on, we've got a, maybe a slight advantage. Try and build as much buff as I can before they start cranking up their speed. <coughs> Tracy and PK, the two Brabham's in second and third. Arno in fourth. Looks like Cheever and Winkelhook, is it? Not sure what Alan Prost is at the moment. I think he's there in. Yeah, I think he might be behind Winkelhock in seventh. Go, go. It's 
so I don't know what's going to happen with the weather. It could be anything, so we could have rain at any point in the race, of course. Looks a bit cloudy at the moment. Can't work out whether we're pulling away or kind of holding. Some brakes are getting a bit hot. All around. I think they're roughly holding me, but I don't know. Maybe eking out a little bit, certain parts of the track. Ooh, can't believe this. behind is now 2.8. Still, still in a bit of a shock from yesterday's pole, to be honest. With this, this game, you do get a little bit of the uh, relative going up and down a little bit. So you can't quite always work out exactly where you are at every point in the track. Might have pulled a little bit maybe there? You've just done a 132.7. The guy behind has just done a 133.0. Ah. Oh. So we... Slightly faster lap, I think, than Patrese. At this stage, they do tend to get quicker, though. There are a few fuel burns off. But as long as I don't burn my tyres out, I should theoretically get a little bit quicker as well. Maybe. <laughs> Pretty pleased it's Patrese in second, actually, because. I'm sure Petro, Petro, um, PK and Prost may be slightly quicker. Oh, the curb there. You're in the lead. Thanks, Jim. It's possible that Patrese is holding back PK. Your front tyres are cold. Hear him the other side, the other part of the track there. Whole load of cars. <coughs> that was good. Sectors one and three are looking quick. Sector two is 0 0.7 off the pace. Yeah, my sector two is normally the one where the it lets me down a little bit. For some reason. I'm not sure where Sector 2 starts, mind that's you. That's the new fastest lap for De Angelis, 132.3. Oh, that's interesting. De Angelis. Maybe he's in, in fresh air. Trying to be as nice as possible to my tyres. Oh, no, no, no. You're out Ooh. of track limits there. Yeah, that. I mean, it cost me a great deal, it cost me a little bit. Yeah, messed it up a little bit. Brakes a little bit early. Uh, late, sorry. That's a little bit this lap. I think I lost a second that lap, did I? Maybe half a second. The gap to Patrese behind is now 2.9 seconds. This seems to be a good, good track for me against the uh, other drivers. Seem to have a better, closer speed. Even the turbos. So 
got to make hay while the sun shines, I think the expression is. Tell you what, this is a good lap so far. Try not to mess this, mess this chicane up. Struggling a little bit to get that slowed down there now. You have to make sure I break a lot earlier next time. Was at 132.6. 132.6, okay. So still trying to work out what I'm going to do for next season after this. There's a possibility we might miss out the 1984 season and jump straight to 1985 because there's no skin currently for 84. Maybe some make some sort of backstory up about 84, I don't know. I'll have to see. Quite a good lap, this one. Edging away, we're edging away. That's the fastest lap of the race. Sector 2 is 0.4 off the pace. Oh, just got under the 132 barrier. That's good. It's good because the, the other. Pelicers will be getting quicker, I think, very soon. Whereas my tyres could be sliding around if I'm not careful, if I mis misuse them, if I uh, to treat them with respect. <laughs> the gap to Matrezi behind is increasing. It's now 6.0 seconds. I'm going to have to drive, start breaking earlier and earlier as I go through the race. It's actually quite a, quite a small amount. Um, some laps we, we're a couple of tenths quicker. Some laps were very similar that time. Just do not want to bin it, you know? That's the worst thing. I love to have a big buffer, you know? So I. In case I go off somewhere quite badly. Ten seconds would be nice. <laughs> It'd be amazing if we get that, but I'm not sure we're gonna quite gonna get that. They'll probably start sneaky clawing us back a little bit, I think. We'll have to see. Got no idea, I haven't uh, done very much more than five or ten laps race sort of pacing. Around. <coughs> Never have I simulated starting from pole either. 
but I got a good getaway. This is lap nine. <coughs> a little bit worried about the tyres, a little bit, because you can see a bit of wear on the front. But I'm going to use the engine braking instead of. I seem to remember driving quite well in the uh, Automobilista Your tires are cold, watch out. Ben and Spears Super League um, back in the day. Not this car, obviously, but. Was it F3 car? I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, seem to remember doing quite well against the AI and. Catching spear, maybe at one point. The gap to Matrezi behind is now 7.0. I mean, in all mods, you do get some tracks that the AI are faster than others. This is one such track where we're a lot closer to the competitors. That lap was at 133.1. We haven't changed it. It's still 105% AI strength, so it's just... Maybe I'm a little bit better here than other tracks. Maybe the, the uh, competitors are not quite as strong when certain parts of this track. <coughs> Gotta take advantage of it and make the main thing is not to make any major errors. Do not crash the car or spin too wildly and lose so much time. And also make sure we keep the tyres in one piece. Make sure we don't need a, a new set of boots. Beer says that I say a lot. Boots. Can we is near the end of the race yet? Halfway yet? Ease off a bit too early there. One seventh, man. Oh, it's a car off there. Danny Sullivan, what are you doing, Danny Sullivan? In the Tyrrell. Anton Tyrrell. So, there are a few back markers we're catching up. See on the relative, we're five seconds or so behind them, I think. Hard to tell exactly. So we missed the three start. We got a quick jump on the uh, competitive competitors. Um, led from the start, eking away a little bit by a little bit. Want to nullify any possible potential big mistakes where I'm hitting barriers or needing to pit even or just going off the track and spinning on the grass. The gap to Matrezi behind is now 7.8 seconds. Up to 7.8 seconds, that's good. Eking, eking away. Right, now we've got uh, Raul Bassel uh, and Jerry A, um, the Blue Ligiers, 
and the car in the middle is Johnny Chicotto. Oh my goodness. Left wow. Side. Clear left. This year is one of the slowest, if not the slowest in the game. Chicotto is quite slow as well. Next car. Then we've got the next, then we've got Lagier, uh, Jean-Pierre Jarier and the, time was at the other Lagier. Can we get round you? Right. Chicotto. Still there. Hold your oh. line. Clear right. Don't go crazy, Ben. Don't go crazy. Sherry A and then ah, oh. I can see my teammate ahead. Right side. I'm still there. Teammate, you're gonna let me let me through. Hold your line. Whoops. He's teammate. Still there. Teammate. Hold your line. Yep. He's still there. Right side's clear. Oh, I've done it again. Sorry. Looks like that was outside on your right. It was. Still there. Still there. Oof. You're in the middle, three wide. Right yeah. side's clear. Oh my goodness. Clear all around. Chicotto, what are you doing? Right, let's get away from this craziness. Might cost me a lot of time. Hopefully the rest of the uh, top ten behind me will also lose a lot of time. <laughs> Car's okay though. Full update. 58 laps remaining. Car looks fine. No significant damage. That should be about 66. Laps of fuel left. 2.3 litres per lap. Tire well looks fine mate. We've got cold tyres. We need to get some heat into them. Your front brakes are pretty hot now. The gap behind is now 3.3. happened to me before. We've had a couple of times where the rain has messed things up and I've got a bit lucky and AI have come back to me and never led for this long, I don't think. That chicane though, I've got to sort out that chicane a lot better. You're going too slow, I'm just breaking, mainly, mainly breaking late. It's my issue for that one. Okay. Let's go back to being nice on the tyres again. Put a few dodgy moments where we've locked up a little bit. Fronts are looking a tiny bit worn. 132.8. Trying to be conservative but fast and smooth I can. It's not easy. Kind of a cross between being on the limit, <laughs> but just gap to Patrese behind is now safely seconds. within yourself a little bit. Can't really do both of those things, but happy medium anyway, we'll get somewhere in the middle. Right, here's the chicane I've got to make sure I break early enough for. Because the tyres are just going to wear more and more, and you have to break earlier and earlier. Can't afford to pit because the computers won't pit. No one else is going to pit, I don't think. This is an issue. Oh, Pross is up to fourth. It's 
still got the two Brabham's, I think. Second and third. Tracy and PK. And Prost now up to fourth. So he's doing well, getting through, coming through the field. After his uh, lowly grid position. For him, anyway, comparatively. I wonder if you're. He's quite close behind the Brabham, so a bit of a dice for second. Cold. Must be a bug. Good lap. That was a uh, one thirty one point four. Not hearing the lap times of the the other competitors. Probably going to start hearing them soon though. The gap to Patrese behind is now 11 seconds. Ah, excellent. I went to the 10 second buffer. Now can I be greedy and ask for 15? <laughs> I wonder. I've got a feeling they're going to start catching me about a third way through. It'll be nice to my tyres. Marker is about I don't know, eight or nine seconds up the road. Roger Mansell. <coughs> Hard to tell exactly. Actually, no, we're so forth. Let's up a little bit, not too bad. I saw Mansell briefly there. Clip the, clip the curb in there. Wayward, come on. Try and get the apex. I'll seriously, start breaking earlier for that. So sort of latest you can get away with. Very deep. See you, Mansell. See ya. Some parts of the track I can see Nige. There he is up there somewhere. Good through there. Level 31 lap. Fastest lap. That lap time was 131.4. Well, I hope for the rest of the season my car is this competitive. I don't know if the, the cars had a, some sort of boost in the testing between the, the US Grand Prix of Rockets and this one, but. Alright, 
right, new flag, blue flag. Clear right. Car right, clear right. Oops. Sorry, Nigel. Right side, clear left. Messed that up right up. Oh dear. Really struggle with that chicane. That's one of the. Cold tires all round. That's where I find trickiest. I think it's my trickiest corner. I've lost so much time there this race. Prost has taken PK. Patrese behind is now 11 seconds. Prost is doing really well. Yes, me was on the same Macintosh, it really is difficult. It's so easy, you, you either slow down too early or you just you can't quite make it around there. This is lap 20. Oops. So, um, so we're across the line. Um, two, two seventh for the race done. <laughs> is that a thing? Time was at 132.6. Easy, easy. See? Now there's been some sort of incident somewhere, obviously, because we're coming up to Danny Sullivan, Ralph Sale and Johnny Giacotta again. Most odd. We haven't even seen 18th yet. Or maybe we've seen 18th. No, I don't think we have. Yet we're seeing 22nd, 23rd, 24th again. Oh, I've got to be really so careful with these tyres now. They're getting a bit too. Worn for my liking, but only on lap 22. The gap to Matrezi behind is now 12 seconds. Mm. 
so many long races these ones it's crazy why am I doing this to myself <laughs> okay so three cars right together here there eating up the time gap between us and the bike markers the time was 132.9 oh. my goodness the car left those two are so slow he's still there he's still there he's still there he's still there Still clear left. Ah, car left. Clear left. Don't on your right. right. Clear right. Car right. Okay. Still there. Oof. Right side's clear. Phew. Okay. Okay, here's Lafitte in 80. And then you've got the 20th and 21st. Wow. Once the car's been lapped, it's really hampered by the look of it. I'm not sure what's happened to Lafitte. It's not usually this far down or this slow, I don't think. Maybe he's got car problems. On your left. They're my teammates. Left. <laughs> Too risky here. Oh my goodness. Why did he slow down so much? I know it's a blue flag, but... Car right. You're in the middle. Clear right. Clear up. Car right. Oh. Clear right. No! Oh my god. Right. That was a bit scary. Still there. Right side's clear. Full update. 40 cent laps left. The car's looking good. No, clear right. We estimate 54. Lap oh. remaining on this tank. Two that was a bit hectic. Four litres per lap. We're not seeing any significant tyre wear. We've got cold tyres, so we need to get some heat into them. The brake temperatures look good. The gap behind is now 6.9. 6.9, oh dear. Lost a bit of time then. But but then, uh, then the rest of them have got to fight through traffic as well. And there's a lot of traffic as well. Right. Jean-Pierre Jarry in the second of the Ligiers. Then we've got Keki Rosberg in the uh, Williams. In 17th after this. Car right. Oh, how? He's <laughs> still there. Your line. Clear right. Poor hands. Um, why don't you put it on uh, hands free or, or speaker? No? Right, okay, 24 laps in the books. The gap to Matrezi behind is now 6.7. Times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. Well, Jim, if you didn't notice, I had a ton of back markers there. Last few laps. Oh, really? Oh. That's not good. Braking. What's my brake pedal doing here? Come on. Left foot's a bit. Gotta brake harder. Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. Yeah, but. Right, come on. Let's see if we can find uh, 
We'll start, we'll start seeing Keke Rosberg soon. Of course, that's the father of uh, Nico Rosberg. Flying Finn himself from uh, Helsinki, I think. Obviously, they moved to Germany. That's why Nico's German, of course. Originally from Finland. Nico wasn't born yet <laughs> in Nico was born actually. He can't have been born far after 1983, is he, Nico? years after this race. <laughs> maybe around uh, maybe around the Canadian Grand Prix 've got low fuels in qualifying it's so different I'm really absolutely the on the edge around that around that uh, champions champions war type chicane at the end there <laughs> with heavy fuel and uh, the worry about breaking the car and not having a spare not being able to just go straight into another car. It's a completely different story. I'm worrying about tyre wear and... Okay, we can see, we can see Rosberg ahead. Keke, that is. Affectionately known by some as the Flying Finn. I think a lot of Finnish drivers have, over the years, have got that nickname. <laughs> what we can do in future whether we're gonna if we do the 1985 for example as, as the next Formula One season whether we're going to increase tyre wear um, make it almost compulsory for pit stops what's, 
we'll just do some testing. I've, and, I, and believe me, I will do a lot of testing after the season. Testing a lot of things out. Off the pace. Sector three is 0.5 off the pace. Testing different cars, how they handle, if I can drive them. I'd make a list of what I can drive, and then obviously we will do some official testing with teams, with team managers watching, and then maybe even a bit of randomness or something. Oh, we'll see. Which team managers like me? Well, we've got a lot of things we can do. Have some fun with it. Whoa, what's going on, Grossberg? I just killed some of my tyre wear. Gap to Patrese, behind on your right. Right side's clear. Whoop. Your right front has got minor wear. Yeah. Car right. Clear right. Playing that on Rosberg, Jim. Car left. Hold your line. Clear hey. left. Easy, Tiger. Ah, just... Just ease off a little bit too much there. Died a bit and forth. Let's get away from Rosberg. It's getting me, worrying me. He seems to spread up as soon as I got past him. Right, so we've lapped everyone up to 17th. Alberto is next up in 16th. If my tyres will survive. What's this lap for Tom Bay? 131.4. Oh, okay. 131.4. Wasn't that my fastest lap? See, now we're getting worried. Tom Bay? He's in P6. Got to keep it together then. Can't afford to have a pit stop because I don't think they're going to pit. Around 83, you didn't really have many pit stops. It was, I think, the Brabham's were maybe trialling it around this time, or was it 84? But early eight, very early 80s was pit stops weren't really a thing unless you had the problem with your tyres. That will definitely be a thing later in the, my career, in this little career mode I'm, I'm making for myself. <laughs> that was a 132.9. Just from the first day of testing, I was just a bit surprised and how close I was to the other drivers in this race because I've never had it this season as yet. This is probably, on ratio, the poorest the competitors have been against me. So I'm certainly making hay while the sun shines. Now, I'm getting a bit concerned that they're going to start catching me, but we need to make some moves. On your right. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Now he's got blue flags, so he, he's got a yield here. Still there. Clear right. Tires. Right, let's get away from him. good as well. Right, Tracy's still holding off Frost. Must be right behind him. Remember, Prost is um, second in the championship from PK. 
Is it about six or seven points gap? So be eating into that a little bit. Fastest lap for Tom Bay. Uh oh, 31.3. Why Tom Bay? Evening pizza. How you doing? How are you today? Are you... Hope you're still resting up and on that road to recovery. Want to see you on track soon in the uh, uh, Falcon series, is it? And the other ones you, you drive. Fit and ready, we're fit and well for season three of 19, sorry, of 2024. Are you? Uh, won't be long, won't be long, hopefully. Don't worry, we'll, everyone will be bored uh, in just over a week, because it'll be week 13. We've got week 12 in a couple of days, and then week 13, and then all fresh, hopefully, and ready for Season 3, 2004. The excitement of the exciting uh, anticipation of what tracks and cars will be coming out. You've just done a 133.1. No. Well, hopefully you'll be out and fit and rearing to go by the, by the end of this season and before the start of next season, surely. That was a good uh, first little part of the sector. The time, Fastest so. lap for Tom Bay, 131.3. It's Tom Bay, it's the only person in fresh air or something. It's very strange because he's in like P6. Really strange. The front tyres have got minor wear. The rest of them must be battling. <laughs> See what pizza? You'll probably give me a good thrashing, but we have to have a game of chess sometime. I used to play this chess game called... Oh, is it called Game Knot? Where you can have multiple games on the go against other people. And uh, I guess it can be a bit confusing when you're playing multiple people at the same time. Um, you've got a certain amount of days to move, I think. And then you get your move down, and then it goes to the other person. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> right side, right side's clear. Yeah. Your lap time was 133.5. Well, you're lucky you're not in this country, Pete, so you'd have been turfed out for someone wanting your bed. Oh, okay. Thursday. What if they'll give you a an idea when? The actor Patrese behind is now 11 seconds. Car right. Clear right. What if they give you a heads up when you'll be allowed to drive in, in i racing again? I don't know if it'll be similar to like in real life driving, but maybe. Maybe you've got to treat them the same? I don't know. Not quite the same, is it? <laughs> Whoops. So, Giacotto again, my goodness. Right. Almost halfway now, guys. We're not far off, are we? It's a couple of laps, is it? It's not long, anyway. And I'm holding it together. I haven't crashed yet. One lap. Wow. Oh, I wish it was... I wish it was a bit further, though. Gonna be exhausted. I'm always exhausted by the end, mentally and physically, <laughs> quite often. Drained, I think is the word. Ah, I've, I've heard of it, Sir Pizza. Can you set up? Um, can you make um, 
make it set up your friends on there so you can what's game not free game chess chess game chess not what it's called I can't remember if I paid a little bit up front and then oh my god why didn't it break that was a worry just got out of track limits I know Jim the pedal just I wonder if my brake pedal is I've got to just brake earlier Yeah, we'll have to give you a game. I think probably out of if we were, if we had about a hundred games, I might win one against you. But okay. I might get lucky. Lost a bit of time there. Mess that up a bit. Half distance, you're looking good for fuel. Not that was a 133.3. What about my tyres, Jim? Car oh, wow. right. That car's slow. He's still there. He's still there. We're well, slow in the corners anyway. Still there. Clear right. <laughs> Come on, you rig. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, I don't like that corner. <laughs> well, don't seem to get on with it anyway. The gap to Patrese behind is now 11. Seconds. 11? Okay. More than 10 is good. 10 is good. We haven't heard Tom Bay breaking my lap record or whatever. My best lap. Patrese and Prost are still pretty close together in second, third. <laughs> Danny Sullivan. Danny Sullivan is quite slow, but be careful here. Wow. On your right. right are your car clear. broken, mate? That lap was a 132.9. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I just family things. I did want to do it. How do you know how? Did, did you watch someone else? Or you just saw the result? Or, or was there only like six people turn up? Being cheeky. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, wow. There's a new track, and it's not that. You know what? I. The problem is, we've had new tracks at Portimao, and I mean Magello quite recently, but Portimao especially, and people have learned that one and it seems to have gravitated between that to that one and then this one they didn't seem to buy us I don't know You're clear right. I think this one I think this one is tougher tougher to learn maybe that is crazy that's why they are that's why the other drivers are not quick around here if all the cars go that speed, I know he's a, he's the one the slowest on the grid, but car clear right. Yeah, I had a um, I had a family thing. I wasn't even totally sure I'd be back for this. Whether uh, this will be, I might have to race this tomorrow, but I got back at a reasonable time before seven. Oh, hi, Fireball Bunny. Hola, how you doing? Manfred Winkelhock is in the pits, apparently, in P7. I'm not quite sure whether that's a problem or... I don't think it's strategy. I think it must have a problem. Yeah, I bought it and I've, I'm getting on with it now. I am getting better at it. But it just took... I didn't think I was going to get it. It took me longer 
than I think longer than Portimao. Um, so. Patrese is really new in the gaps now. 9.7. I'm not sure it's a good mix, Solar. Not entirely sure that's the best combination in the world. I mean, I'm no, I'm no GP, but. Right, okay, so. You've just done a 133.1. Okay, Ben, lap times are pretty consistent. Don't really drink alcohol. <laughs> I don't... I don't have... I mean, I'm lucky enough I've, I don't take any pills and I, I don't drink alcohol. A bit boring, really, aren't I? I know. <laughs> don't drink, don't smoke, don't take pills. The only time I have ever taken pills is um, when my hay fever gets really bad in the summer sometimes but I haven't for a few years taken any pills I don't get headaches so don't have to take anything to do with headaches I don't, don't, just don't get them Getting through the race here, and Patrese is still second, Prost third. Tombe has taken PK. Okay, pizza. Yeah, I. You know what? I don't actually know which hay fever is worse for me. Whether it's grass cuttings or pollen, or I don't think I'm as bad as when I was younger. Oh, close to the wall there. The Angelus in the pits. What's going on? Something's happening. <laughs> There's a few little issues going on with cars, I think. On the other side Gap of the track. Two, a tracing behind is now 9.3. Getting concerned. Tracy. Gotta keep it together, Ben. Crazy started speeding up. Good evening, Darth. Ah, you joined us at the at an earlier time than last time. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. It's because the whole race qualifying was just an hour, and the race is like over well over an hour, isn't it? So we are here, at Can Canada, <laughs> Montreal. Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve, which I'm not sure was the Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve back in 1983. It might have been just uh, um, El Notre Dame or something. Car right. Yeah, I know, I mean, Stop. first, I, right. I, I don't know if you saw the VOD or whether you saw the YouTube video from yesterday, but basically I got pole. And um, I got a good clean getaway and I've been ahead built up some time they've my competitors have caught back up a little bit not right up to me got back to nine seconds now at the moment I think I think we just eked out a little bit more again but they're starting to get quicker and I think ah oh, yeah AMS2 is great actually I wish there were more oh, I'm taking part in certain series like three race series uh, in R Factor 2 at the moment, different series. But I wish they had more for, for Auto Blister 2 as well. Do I already have done first there? I don't know. Can't remember. 
My mind's a bit of a blur. Oh, well. Yeah, combine the shoot slot. Yeah. I need to learn that. The shoot, shoot slife. Slife left side. Hey, hey, hey. Left. Mansell, what are you doing, mate? You nudged me then. I felt that. I'm the car jerk. Um, so, apparently the... Um, apparently, uh... Uh, early 70s, is it, or 60s? Um, Le Mans coming out for Water, uh, Water and Blister 2 as well. I think I hear. Really, um, yeah, from about 50, 50 odd years ago, 50 or 60 years ago, Le Mans. So that's looking forward to that. There's a few things in the pipeline. Oh dear. So being careful with the tyres. Not trying to break too hard. It's paying off. Paying off it is. Although um, the relative is weird. I can't quite gauge whether Betrayzy's catching me. Betrayzy and Cross are catching me or not. If I messed that up, they might do. Just need to keep on it. Just need to keep on it. Reading off these laps and be as smooth as I can. Come on. Because I think they're edging up on me a little bit. So I need to try and get back on it. Don't want to break the car. Putting out to Patrese behind is now 9.1. That was a 131.5. Wasn't he nine seconds, seconds before? Is 0 0.8 off the pace. I think we've been kind of even, very even with the the guys behind. I don't think we're pulling away, but I don't think they're necessarily catching fast. So we do need to keep on it, though. I don't mean set one one minute twenty nine or whatever it is, but I want to do one minute thirty. Is it? I'm actually I'm not sure what my best lap was. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on what the lap time is when I cross the line this time. Oops, deep there. <coughs> Although I'm on par with virtually my best lap, I think, of the race so far. Fuel's coming down nicely. And tyres are not... <laughs> We're not burning too much rubber. Apart from that, my goodness. I went down a bit after that lock-up. Oh dear. Right, okay. Right, we're virtually on a best lap scenario. <sighs> Ouch, right, that's the best lap I think. Went a bit crazy in that last second. Okay, that's the fastest lap. Right, 131 dead. Oh my god, what are you doing? Johansson. Oh, blooming Swedes, eh? I think, I think he must have spun and just re, re entered the track. Anyway, what was I say? 131 dead. Right, remember that. I think the others are probably. Seen a bit of wear all round. I think the others are probably doing 131. So need to keep on it. <coughs> we don't want 32s or lower, really, if possible. I'm getting this that call is terribly hard. Okay, so catching up to 14th place is Andre, Andre de Treasures in his um, Alpha, Alpha Romeo, turbocharged. Lapped everyone up to almost 14th place. Doing really well here. That was a good corner. We 
we're setting the pace. Car right. No. Still right side. Car Blue flags. Right. Blue flags. Clear right. Thank you. Oh, he's got a turbo though. On the straights, he'll be right up my. Look. He will have a blue flag. Luckily, there's rules in 81 Ballista that. Also, Ballista 2 that. They do adhere to blue flags, then they go wipe your trumpet again. And they adhere to blue flags. So they won't pass you if they're a back marker. But if they've got fast cars, they'll stay with you on the streets. The gap to right side. Should Hold yield, line, black blue flag, blue flag. Oh my goodness, I want to get away from this dude. Andre de Chesvers was known for... Well, let's put it... How can we put it nicely? <laughs> he did have a few crashes in his time. Let's see if we can pull away. That turbo engine he's got. Car left. Clear left. Oh. What are you doing, right. man? I know you got a turbo. Still there. Still there. Oh, right come on. Side's clear. Car right. Clear right. Yeah, they haven't perfected the blue flags the situation with the AI quite yet. We'll miss it They're still working on things. Car right. Clear right. Let's try and get away from him if we can. There you go. The two behind can battle each other. Stefan Johansson to the rescue. New Super sweet. 130. Th oh. Okay. 130. Now, I haven't done a 130. 131 dead, I think I did, so. Okay. So the other drivers are getting their act together. Fuel's coming down. They've saved enough tyres and now they're going for it, I think. Frost is still behind. Right side. Right side's clear. Yeah, did I say I racing? Sorry, I don't know. Clear left. Can I, um. Teammate? Car yeah. Left. Right team out. Teammate, sort out Andre de Chesaris because. Oh, just let him go. No, you're not. Car right. No. Clear right. Oh man, I need to get away from this dude. Ouch. Ouch. Hey Pizza, welcome back. I'm still leading, I haven't thrown it away yet. There's been a few little a few squeaky bung main moments with back markers. Not obeying um Fastest lap for Frost. Ah, okay. 30.5. Night nurse. Night nurse. Come on. Yeah, let's not do that again. That was a bit close to the grass. And... Whew, come on. Getting a little bit tired now, but got to keep it together. And not burn the tyres out, please. Ah! Oh, this person's getting on my... Right up on, on my left. wick. Hold your line. Attempts to let there. him go, but now I'll just catch him up again, I think. I think. He's making me burn some tyres I don't want to burn. Car click left side. What are you doing, man? Still oh, there. Cool. Clear left. The gap to Matrezi behind is now 10.0. Car right. Still there. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. Wait. I don't know what Andrew the Chesaris is up to, but he's not. He's off my Christmas card list. Left 
inside. Line. I am getting worried though because it's still there. Clear I'm getting line. worried because if he's this quick, what about the um, the guys in second, third, and fourth? They've got to be going quite quick. Left side. Right, Giacotto, you know Still what to do. There. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. Seriously, Andre de what are you playing at, son? There's no room there. Left side. He's still there. He's still there. Right, how quick am I Clear going? Left. I I think that I think I think all the other drivers are getting quicker. This is my worry now. <coughs> Come on, Ben. Let's get away from him. I'm starting to get panicky now. <laughs> Let's just get away. See if we can get away. Yeah, they're, they seem to be a little bit inconsistent. They're really fast in some moments and slow in certain corners, which is helping me overall. And it allowed me to get pole and allowed me to get away, but they are getting quicker now, but the back, as back markers, they're not very nice, the fast ones. Just need to get away from them. But as soon as, as soon as um, Patrese, Tombe, Tombe, has Tombe taken Prost? The answer, Patrese behind is now. 8.4 seconds. As soon as Tom Bay, um, Tracy and all them catch Johansson and Andre de Chesuis, they'll be slowing them down because they'll hit blue flags and they'll lose ground. But I'm getting worried about Patrese and I just saw it flicker. I think Prost and Tom Bay are side by side. They're battling. And Patrese. Oh my goodness. I think Prost may have taken second place. Right, come on, Ben. We need to really hammer it. I mean, it's summer's time. Car left. Clear left. Hey, pizza. Who's whose side are you on, Alan or mine? There's a car there. What's he doing? Derek Warwick. Crashed. I don't know if he has still his engine going. Yes, that's better pizza. I think the drugs are um, giving you delusions. At least we got rid of those pesky fast AI back markers. Come on, Ben. Oh. Can we not finish this race quite soon, please? Because I'm getting very concerned about Alan Prost, who's tearing up the championship at the moment. Sector one is 0.7 off the pace. Well, that's a worry. 4.7. On your right. Right side's clear. I think Prost is catching. New fastest lap for Prost on 30.3. Oh. Hell in a handbasket. Alright. Hold your line. 
Still there. Near right. Car right. Right side's clear. Your engine's running a bit rough, mate. Huh? No. No rough. Well, I've been looking after my car. Kind of. Yeah, but if he's doing 130.3s, and I'm doing 132s, Captain, you have a frost behind is now 10 seconds. Right, I need to, I need to do 131s. Yeah, I don't think I've got a feeling we're okay. I don't. I think when we get to if we get to 30, I think maybe we're just going to start worrying. Like 20. Was 132.4. Yeah, that's no good, is it? We need we need 30. We need 30 ones. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Oopsie. Go, go, go. <coughs> Man, maybe Jim says that if it's 20, you're right. Maybe that's a generic thing. Jim says that at 20%. Well, that's good news. Yeah, but pizza, I've got a feeling there might be, there's a reason behind that. I think it's to do with traffic and back markers. I've just got to go for it and make sure I don't make any mistakes. And This is a better lap. I, I definitely think we need, we need 131s all the way home, at least. We need to be under 132. Because when crossing clean air, I think he's doing 130s. Getting a bit concerned. Come on, that's a good lap. Your last lap time was at 131.0. Excuse me, I got just under 131.0, thank you. Yeah, Pizza, um, the relative in this game is a little bit swanky. It goes up and down a bit. So I don't trust it completely. Also, we've got traffic, so it does go up and down a bit anyway, but it seems to go up and down a lot <laughs> in general. I'm just going to just gonna keep going, going smooth. I think Tom Bay's right behind Prost battling with him a little bit, so that's good, I think. So my fuel's coming down, so I should be getting quicker. So you stay behind Danny Sullivan, wherever you are. Prost. It's costing him, it's costing him. Then he's got a nice little gap. Oof, come on. Don't be a champion. Gap to Frost. Behind is now 16 seconds. Good. Neutral, Ben. Neutral's not a good thing to be in. Right, now he's in clean air. Now he's in clean air. Ooh, back Marcus. Oh my goodness. So some of the, a lot of the AI have pitted, haven't they? Well, a number of AI have pitted, I've noticed. Oh, this looks dicey. Whoa. Come on. Car left. What are you doing, man? 
It's still there. Blue flag, Clear blue left. flag. Oh, took a bit of tyres out there, but still got some tyres left. What's he? Okay, he's a McLaren, so he hasn't got the turbo. Good. Still close. I haven't got turbo either. <laughs> the downside of that counter argument. Bingo Hawk. I think he. I think that is a turbo in that car. Car right. Clear think... right. On your right. Right side's clear. <sighs> Frost behind his pitting. Left side. Yes. On your left. Yes. Still there. Get. Hold your line. Oh, my. Clear left. Frost is pitting for some reason. Maybe their tyres have given up. Do you think that's it? The last few races, or well, pretty much all season, we've had no pit stops. Oh, that's so good. Can't Car know. left. He's still there. Clear left. Can you stop, please? Oh, ouch. What you made me do now? Car left. Hold your line. Clear left. I wonder how far fast Pross will go now. No one behind that. Why do we start getting more people petting? Last race we had no pitters at all, I think. Tom Bay is closing the gap. It's now 12 seconds. That lap time was 133.4. Sector 2 is 1.7 seconds. That's what Tom Bay is going to pit, is he? Tom Bay behind is pitting. <laughs> oh no. So is it down to my nemesis? I say nemesis. The person I was. I got told off for blocking. I got nearly got my my win at Spa um, taken away from me for excessive blocking against Arnu. Why are they they pitting a lot in this race? Why are they pitting? A lot of them pitting. Not all of them, but how strange. Hasn't happened before. Something to do with this track or the weather or I don't know. Fuel consumption? I haven't changed anything. Gotta keep on it because our new Oh yes, turbo, Mr. Turbo. Left side, clear left. On your left. Clear left. Yeah, 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 you got a turbo, I know. Right. This is very strange. I've never had anything quite like this. We had them all pitting at the start because it was um, wet to dry and everyone basically picked wrong. And I picked wrong in the last one as well. This is a few rounds ago. But we've never had it where the, they've pitted mid-race like this. It's all very strange. I don't think the uh, the other people don't get on with this track, maybe. For some reason. Your left side tyres are carrying minor wear. Your right front's carrying some wear now. Come on, Ben. Bring it home. Come on. This is so draining physically and mentally. It really is. You can't go full beans around a lot of these corners because you lock up, you're in trouble. You burn the tyres and you miss corners sometimes. And it gets. And the more you burn your tyres, the worse it gets. The easier it is to burn the next time. Vicious circle. And this blimmin' Winklehock in his turbo. Car clear right. Maybe I should just let him go, but now I'll just catch him again. 
think. So, lapping in the mid 31s, that's good, 131s. Oh, come on, Ben, bring it home. This is agonising. It's always the last 10 15 laps is the worst. It's like, oh, come on. this race been on for about getting close to an hour and a half I think getting quite close anyway not that close but a little bit close I don't know if we started at around 10 past 7 maybe in my time but it's definitely at least an hour and 20 minutes I think that's a new fastest lap for Frost 129.9 well, I'm glad he's a long way back he's got fresh rubber I think he should have pitted earlier then Getting lighter. Can handle that corner better now. Whoa there, whoa there. My teammate. 24th place, Bootson. Car left. Clear left. I mean, he's having a bad day, I think. I mean, I'm definitely outperforming the car, but. 24th, Thierry, come on. Should be higher than that. He must have had some sort of incident somewhere. Cross is catching up to Patrese. Tyres are not the best. Love a new set of tyres, but. <laughs> We'll lose the lead to our new. We won't get it back either. Probably. It's going to seem a bit weird with the final results if I do win this one. With regard to all the far, the people that pitted, all the fast laps will be two seconds a lap quicker than me. Come on, keep it together, hold it together, Ben. It's not my fault that some people are pitted, is it really? I don't think Arnu's pitted, I don't think he pitted earlier. Oh my goodness, what's going on? The tires do that before. Right side. He's still there. Clear on your right. Hold your line. Uh, Clear right. Look these tires hold together. The rears are looking a bit dicey and the fronts are looking very dicey. <laughs> but luckily, there's not many laps left ish. Oh, my goodness. Break early. I don't think this car's breaking as well. Left side. As it once did. Still there. He's still there. What car is it? What's work? Normally aspirated. Still there. Oh. Still there. Clear oh left. man, I just couldn't risk it. There's too much risk involved there. doing guys on your right right side's clear car right clear right JPS boys car right 
Hold your line. Ten to go. Oh, Still there. Sir. Still there. Clear right. Hey, Jim. I'm glad I've got Jim this week. I sometimes forget Five to put Jim on. on the gap's now 19 seconds. Sometimes I forget to put Jim on. It's, it's much... I think I prefer it with Jim in this. On your right side's clear. Easy. De Angelis. Top 10, De Angelis. We lapped everyone up to ninth now. Next. Ninth is Baldi. Car right. Clear right. Left side. Clear left. Come on. Hold yourself together, Ben. Wow. Whose idea to do 100% races? It's a killer. It's a real... I'm sure they're normally aspirated to JPS Lotus. Run on me. Ouch. <laughs> Bits of Bob's bust. Is that blame Howard, Pizza? Is that a like a standard excuse to everything? <laughs> Car right. He's still there. Clear right. Fish hooks. Car left. Clear left. Dear, squeal, squeal, squeal. Don't want to look at my tyres. Fronts are half gone, I think, almost. The right front's half gone. Car right. Right side's clear. Ah, Hauer. Hauer's to blame. <laughs> Last lap was a 132.4. So worn out. Can I hand over to someone? This, this part, long races like this, and normally in eye racing or something else, I don't know. I, uh, I normally try and calculate how many laps I'm behind the leader. Brake temperatures are okay. Therefore, every lap I don't have to do is a relief. But I guess when you're leading, you're not going to have that, are you? <laughs> right side, clear right. Can you stop scaring me like this? No, just go past. Maybe. Clear right. Oh, tires, tires, tires. Right. Right side's clear. The thing is, he gets a blue flag, so he's slow. Oh. Left side. Are you nudging me, mister? Hold your line. Clear left. Go on then. Oh. Car right. He's still there. Go on then. Clear right. Oh, it's so at certain right points. Side, clear right. That's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it's closing you down. The gap has come down to 17 seconds. Come on, can't miss about. Can't miss about with me. Finkelhock's going back. Come on. Let's just get this party started.
try and push a bit and get away from him somehow. So much time. Took a bit of a risk back there, I think. A little bit. Hey. It annoyed me now. It annoyed me into pushing too hard. Johansson is pitting from position 14. Oh, we think he'll come out close super in Super sweet. Oh, I thought it was going to spin. <laughs> Nearly messed up right up. Just enough away from him to... Ouch. Right on. That was a 130.5. Ooh. That's nearly as fast as Prost did earlier. A couple of tenths away from Prost. I don't know if I knew faster once. Sim Racing! UV! How you doing? You join me here at Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. Possibly before Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve was called Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. But we're in Montreal, Canadian Grand Prix 1983. And we are leading. Harassed by a few back markers though that have possibly got fresher tyres. I don't know. But I think back markers are generally working for us because competitors in second and third may have had back market issues. I don't know. Oh my, everything's aching though. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Just, I don't know who agreed to this. 100% Grand Prix races, but 100% length Grand Prix, 105% AI. For some reason, the AI are not so good at this track. Normally, I, I'm nowhere near anywhere. Well, you know, in general. Normally, I'm struggling to get anyone in the top 10, but this track, there's a few places where they're just not that good. And I'm taking advantage of it. I don't know what that guy's doing there. I'm not pitting. I've got enough fuel. My tyres are... I mean, I've got... My engine's... 25%. Is that percent? Or 25-somethings? I hope my engine lasts. But I think we've only got about five to go, I think. Oh, goodness. I'm getting so physically and mentally drained. I don't know why, but... Oh, injured arm! Oh no! Well, I hope you get um, hope your arm gets better very soon, so you can get playing it. It's real good fun. I'm uh, I'm using the, uh, the mods, the skin pack of 1983, and I'm competing in my own career, starting with 1983. Um, may have to jump to 1985 because there's no there's no actual skin pack for 84, unfortunately. Which is a shame because that's when Senna started. Would have been nice to have Senna's Tolman, but unless someone completes the, makes the skin pack in the next six months or five months or four months, whenever I'm starting to prepare for next season. Um, we may have to skip to 95. We'll jump straight to Senna in a Lotus. <laughs> Oh, really? I don't know what settings I've got graphically. Fairly high, I mean, I imagine. But are you using VR or are you. Woo! Okay. Car right. Still there. Oh, this. this what's happened with this car? He is seriously. He's still there. Right side, right. That's cross teammate Chiever. Chiever. You know what? I'm in, I'm in preservation mode for the last few laps. Oh, 
No, I don't know what the answer is, Tim. No, oh, I don't know what to tell you. Car right. Oh my goodness, what are these guys doing to me? Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. Oh, right. could that be it? Right yeah, maybe, down. maybe that makes a difference. Oh, these guys are busting my kahunas. What's going on? I just want to survive to the end. I don't want to die. Wheelbase. Um, Fanatec. Is getting closer. The gap is now seconds. Um, eight newton meter. Is it CSL? Eight newton meter. Car left. Which is all. He's still there. All I need. I know some people use more He's than eight, there. but I have mine turned down Hold quite low. I, I don't like too much false feedback, so still there. I think it'll be a waste if I had any more than eight anyway. Still there. Well, I'm just saying. Left. Not just saying that, but I have very low. Or quite low. Right side. Still there. That's it. Clear right. How'd you get that from, Howard? Car right. Still Have you there. got some sort of macro that Clear does that? Right. Fastest lap for Rost. 129.5. Oh. Okay. Car right. I forgot I did that. He's still there. Right side's clear. Car right. Right side's clear. Car right. Right side's on your right. Clear right. Oh my goodness. Left that side. Clear left. Copy and paste. Come on, back markers are messing me up. Jim, stay in focus. On your left, clear left. Blue flags, you should slow down, yes. Oof. Still there. Clear left. Clear right. Nibbling Car at me. Left. Stop nibbling at me. Still there. Clear left. Car clear left. Nibbling away. Oh, he's a Renault, so he's gonna be he's gonna have serious turbo. Oh sorry, did I balk him? I don't know. Stop left it. Left side. Clear left. Oh. Do it. Car left. Clear left. Car right. He's still clear right. Clear left. Car left. Back outside. Still there. Blue flag. You should give me. Hold your line. It's still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Hold your line. Stop it. Still there. Clear left. Our new is getting closer. The gap's now 5.1. Our news tearing it up. Come on, come on, come on. Ouch. Clear left. There 
Yeah, go in the left side. side. Go in the outside of me. Still there. Clear left. Oh, this is it. This is the end of the race coming right up. Don't be a champion and you've done it. Well done, Ben. Great win. Oh, you deserve wow. That today. My goodness, that was hard work. Thanks, Howard. Oh my goodness. Cheers, pizza. I'm so worn out. Ah. Oh. It's straining. It's hard to explain. It's draining. Thanks, Macintosh. I didn't get the uh, the trifecta, the fastest lap as well, but I had the best um, strategy. Oh my goodness. Cheers, hands. Macintosh, everyone, my goodness. What a race. I don't understand it. I don't expect this to be like this for the rest of the season. For some reason, my competitors don't get on with this track. And I had some advantage, but I think Arnu was got within five seconds of me at the end. He obviously, I think he had fresh rubber. I think he had a fresh rubber? I don't know what he's, if he pitted. But he was on, on when he had low fuel, he was very quick. And I was sliding around in my old tyres a little bit. And having dicing with back markers, which was a bit frustrating. Huh. But let's put it into the pits and see the results. Watch your speed. Oh, my pits well early. Reversing is illegal in the pit lane. But it was maybe later in the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Ben Summers wins. Yes. Cheers, pizza. Have a good sleep. Thank you for popping by. Arnu's just coming in the pits. He's in second. Ben Summers, 4.3 seconds in the, in the end from Rene Arnu. Nelson Piquet completes the podium and uh, stretches his leg in, legs in the, in the championship from uh, Mr. Prost. Ooh. Ricardo Patrese, PK's teammate in fourth, LM Prost in fifth, and uh, yeah, the rest of them you can see. Let's have a bit of a scroll down. You can see the rest of them there. Pick out your favourite drivers Chiva, De Angelis, Lauda, De Cesaris. Um, a lot of these are not failure. Some of the car failures and, or pitting pits were, um, were fixed, maybe. I fixed these, I don't know. I don't know if there's a strategy there because here's the result for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal, round eight. Ben Summers leads wins the race, nine points. Rene Arnu second place for six points. Nelson Piquet on the podium, four points. Ricardo Patrese, three points. Alain Prost, two points. And the last point, sixth place, Patrick Tornbo. That means for the championship after eight rounds, Nelson Piquet still leads with 39 points. Rene Arnu goes into second place after that. Uh, Second second place finish, 33 points. Alain Prost on 30 points. Ben Summers up to fourth place, 18 points. Ricardo Patrese on 17 points. Patrick Tombe 12 points. Derek Warwick in 10. And Eddie Cheever with 9 points. Join us next time out, the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Join us for that one.